Front matter is a powerful Jekyll feature which lets you set variables on a page. Let's get straight into an example. So here I have my about page. Uh, it's very basic. It just has an H1 in the body. And we're going to use this page to test out front matter. So to start with, I'll add two triple dash lines to the top of the file. This just tells Jekyll that I'm using front matter. In between these lines, I can write YAML, which is a type of markup language. So I'll set a variable called hello text. Um, and then that's going to be a string of hello there. So now this string is assigned to the variable hello text. And I can use that on my page now. So we'll add a p tag here. And now we're going to use another language called liquid, which I'll cover in depth in another video to print out this variable. With liquid to output something, um, it's two curly braces. Then I can access this page's variables using page dot and then the name of my variable. So here is hello text. And that's it. Now this will output the string that I set in front matter. And as you can see, here it is on the generated page. Back to about.html and let's show a more advanced example. So let's add a condition to this page. If there's a variable called show footer, and that's true, let's show a footer on this page. So we'll just add a footer here. I am footer. And I only want that to show if the variable show footer is in the front matter. So I can use some liquid here. Again, I'll go in depth on liquid in another video, but I can say page dot show footer. If that variable exists, then show the footer. And you can see it shows the footer and if I change that to false the footer disappears and arrays are also possible in front matter so here we'll create a new array called fruit and in front matter each item in the array starts with a hyphen and then you just have the name of the item and you just have to make sure that um, you have two spaces here instead of a tab YAML doesn't like tabs. Now we have our array in front matter, we can iterate over the items using liquid. So I'll start off with an unordered list. And then I'll iterate over the items using a for loop in liquid. Each item will have an ally and we'll print out the item name. Let's have a look at the generated output. So there's our list of fruit. In this last example, we'll use objects in front matter. Objects allow for more complex data structures. We're going to use it in our fruits array. So we're not only setting the name of the fruit, but we're also setting a cost and a color for each fruit item. So first we want the value of each item in the array to not be a string, but to be keys and values. So we'll make the first key name of each item. And then we can also add in the other properties we want. Um, so we want cost. And color and we'll do that for each item
Now when we're outputting it, item is no longer a string of the name of the fruit, it's the entire object. So if we want to print out the name, now it's item.name. And we can also output our other properties. So we'll output the cost. and the color. So now all the properties are output on the generated page. So that's an overview of front matter. And the next Jekyll cast will be looking at layouts, which will show common use cases of front matter. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.